In this video I'll show you how you can integrate Expo SQLite in your Expo project, how to do uh, database migrations, integration testing that can be run on Node.js on your machine, and also I have a solution for strange resource logs uh, that you might have encountered uh, while using uh, Expo SQLite, uh, SQLite uh, provider. All of the code that I show you is uh, available at my GitHub repository and for the purpose of demonstrating database migrations and integration testing I made a simple tasks app, simple to do app. Uh, it has a read, delete and create and for persistence it uses SQLite. For this example, this was my starting point. Uh, this is an official documentation how you can configure SQLite. And the only difference is I'm not using their SQLite provider. Well, uh, it's a strange thing. Uh, it's hard to reproduce, but when I was testing on both emulator and on the device, I got uh, strange resource logs, as I already mentioned. One of the messages, uh, error messages that I got was definitely uh, native database uh, couldn't be initialized because it's accessing the closed resource. And uh, I think I know where the issue was. I'll show you in a second. But how you can reproduce it, uh, try refreshing your app many times in emulator and uh, you'll get this message once, eventually. It's hard one to reproduce, it won't uh, like uh, appear every single time. So the issue with the official SQLite provider, in my opinion, is that they didn't secure against potential retriggerings and overlapping executions during the component's lifecycle. In this case, this is the component. So I secured myself with the flags is mounting and is running. In this case, only one open can happen of that database name that you provide during this component's lifecycle. And that SQLite provider needs to be in the app layout, red, so you can use it in your screens or pages. And in my case, it opens a new test DB SQLite, embedded DB. And example of usage is, for example, in the detail, you access the database with this hook, use SQLite context. All of the database operations are wrapped inside a class called tasks client and all of my SQLs are located in that single client. When you initialize a new DB, uh, you'll need to run database migrations. You'd want to create some tables, maybe populate some data, and uh, to be able to use it, right? And I guess uh, there will be not just one migration, but many migrations during your application's lifetime because uh, in one release you'll create the tables and then you publish the release and then you figure out uh, hey that's not enough i'll modify it add new tables and so on good thing about sqlite uh, it has pragmas and pragmas are sqlite extensions and in your case a good pragma is pragma called user version so you can version your embedded database. Whenever you do migration, just bump the Pragma user version. Another thing with running the migrations is, well, uh, they should all be run in a transaction, right? And that means none of the migrations get committed or all of them get committed. If something in the SQL is faulty, none of the current migration will succeed. You achieve that with executing it inside the transaction. This is my simple solution of a database migration runner. It runs a series of your migrations in a transaction and it will run only the migrations after your user version.
right? It won't try to rerun the old ones if they are already applied. One example of migration is, is stored in the migrations and it follows the database migration interface. And it has a name and an up and uh, some of the frameworks also have a down. Uh, down is uh, something that you apply when you want to roll back. Uh, since I applied uh, it inside the transaction, I don't need it's needed. I don't think it's needed in my case, except in a scenario where you'll want to manually issue a rollback, but not in this example. Uh, one other case is that I named it. Uh, why? Because I want to log all of the migrations that executed. It's just for console logging. And one possible extension of this database migration runner is not only to use the Pragma user version, but you could keep a log of your executed migrations, like a migrations table that uh, frameworks usually have, like uh, list of executed uh, migrations with their dates, statuses, and uh, sometimes an error, error column to see why it, uh, why it uh, failed. I think for my use case, for demo, and probably yours, uh, it will be enough to use the Pragma user version. So my migrations look like this. I create a table called task and it uh, contains uh, timestamps and uh, task description. And the uh, other migration is uh, that I populate the already created table. So let's get back to my task client. And it is the only one besides database migration runner that directly calls the SQL commands. So how can I be sure that this migration is running correctly and that my migrations are not faulty? Because I don't want the faulty SQLs to end up on the client's device. I don't. I test it. Your SQLs can be both syntactically and semantically incorrect. Syntactically would be, I don't know, place an extra comma and it will, be, and it will fail. There's a bunch of reasons why it can be syntactically incorrect. Semantically, well, uh, if you use a complex query and you are using uh, wrong groupings, uh, well, that's another case when it can be semantically incorrect. And you can verify that it is correct by applying a test case. A problem with Expo SQLite module is that you cannot run tests on your local machine. And the reason being is that it was built for native devices. It was not built for a local computer machine. It, was, it will work on iOS, Android, but not necessarily on Windows or Linux. And there is no reason why it should not work, because SQLite is an embedded database that should work on every system. And solution for that is that uh, I introduce an adapter. An adapter is a pattern that you use when you need the incompatible interfaces to communicate. And uh, just allows me to do that. Just in just you can mock almost everything. You can mock directly in your test. You can mock in mocks directory. If you want to mock a node module, it needs to be in the same directory where node modules is, and you create the same directory as your package name. So I created an Expo SQLite, and the problematic part is the native database that I need to adjust to work on Windows, in my case. Uh, for that purpose, I'm using SQLite 3 package, and I'm using the in-memory solution. 
it it is convenient because it gets reset uh, whenever you finish a test. You don't need to worry about uh, cleaning up the resources. And how you introduce an adapter? You have to follow the same interface. So SQLite, Open Database Async, that is what I call. And one example of a test case is that I initialize the database that I will use for test, but instead of calling the original node module, just will call the one that's defined in the mocks. So all of the methods, native methods, were replaced by SQLite three methods. Uh, there is much similarity with SQLite that's Expo using, but one difference is that SQLite 3 works in callbacks, so I need to wrap everything in a promise. So let's get back to my test case. If you didn't have an Expo SQLite so let's actually try it. Let's call the original, the native SQL SQLite. And it will work because I renamed the module. And when I run my test case, it will eventually fail. Right? It says native database is not a constructor because it's made to work on iOS and Android. If I rename my adapter to the correct module and run the DB migration runner, it will work correctly. And uh, now why did I do that? I don't need necessarily emulator or my device to test an SQL command. It doesn't relate to React Native at all. It's just a persistence logic that can be used the same on any kind of project. In this video, I'll show you how you can integrate Expo SQLite in your Expo project, how to do uh, database migrations, integration testing that can be run on Node.js on your machine. And also I have a solution for strange resource logs uh, that you might have encountered uh, while using uh, Expo SQLite, uh, SQLite uh, provider. All of the code that I show you is uh, available at my GitHub repository. And for the purpose of demonstrating database migrations and integration testing, I made a simple tasks app, simple to do app. Uh, it has a read, delete, and create. And for persistence, it uses SQLite. 